Hello, this is Zach from the web team here to show you a new piece of software we have called the Office Status. So during this COVID time, we're often wondering who is going to be at the office that particular day, who's going to be working from home, or who is out of the office that day. So with this new tool, there's an easy way to scan in and out and to update your status to show whether or not you're going to be working in the office or if you're going to be working from home. So this is the status board page for institutional marketing today. If you look at the top, you'll see that Marion and myself have a green box with a check mark in it. That indicates that we are both in the office. Now, the rest of the people you see here have a blue box with a house, and that means they are currently working from home. And then if I click on this show all button, you will see that Elizabeth has the day off and with the gray box with the X in it, that means that she is out of the office today. So why this page is important is you can imagine a scenario where say you need to go into the office on a particular day, but if you were to look at this page, you may see that there are already too many people at the office to accommodate for the social distance. So this page allows you to look and see who is in the office and who's not in the office for that day. Another nice thing about this page is that you can view this from anywhere. So if you want to view it from work or on your phone, you can see that as well. So let me show you how this works. So first, you're going to want to go to the website that you see here, gvsu.edu slash tools slash office status. And once you get to this page, you'll be prompted for your GVSU network login. So you'll type that in and your password and click on submit. And then you're brought to the status board, which will show you the status of your department. Now, there are three different ways in which you will be able to check yourself in using the office status. First is by scanning a QR code. Second is by having a barcode scanner and scanning the barcode on the back of the GVSU ID card. And the third way is to have an administrator check you in manually. So here's an example of how to do all three of those. The first example is by scanning the QR code. From this screen over here on the left-hand side, you'll see a button that says scan in or out. Now with your phone, you could pull up the camera app and scan this QR code, and then it would check you into our system. Another option would be to print this QR code off and have it available in your office. Here's an example of what I mean by that. So here's a demonstration of how we would use this in institutional marketing. So let's say I'm coming into work today and what we have done is we've placed the QR code on a window outside of our office. So what I'm going to do now is on my phone, I'm going to open it and I'm going to click on the camera icon. So I've opened up my camera and now with my camera, I'm going to scan that code and you'll see this little pop-up come up at the top of my phone. And if I click on it, it then takes me to this page where I'll need to log in with my GVSU network login. So I'm going to log in, click Submit, and now you can see that I'm currently set for working from home, but I'm going to change my status to say In. Here's another example of the QR code being used in the registrar's office. As you enter the front desk, you will see at the table that they have this printed out with the QR code on it. And you will also see that they have the QR code available at the front windows as well. Now, the second way that you can mark somebody in is by scanning the barcode on the back of their GVSU ID. This would be available if you have a barcode scanner in your office. Now, when I click on the scan in and out button, you will see that we also have a feature for scan user ID. This will only be available for those departments that have a barcode scanner. Now here's a demonstration of how somebody would be checked in using the barcode scanner into the office status system. The third way in which somebody could be marked in is by having somebody in the office designated as the administrator. So for example, this would be a good option for the front desk worker. So imagine that I'm working at the front desk and I see Dave walk into the office. Because I'm set up as an administrator, I can click on Dave's name and I can change his status to say set in, or I can say to set out or work from home. So as Dave enters and leaves the office, the front desk person could 
change that person's availability in this system. Now by default, this is not turned on for users and the user will not be able to change other people's statuses. So this would be something specific for someone who would be considered an administrator in this system. So here's a good example of how to use the status board is if you come into institutional marketing, you will see that at our student worker desk, we have a monitor set up. And right from here, we can see who is um, in the office or who's out of the office right from the status board. And this monitor is just hooked up to a computer and visible for the person walking in. Another feature of the office status program is that you can have vendor or visitors of your office create a login and also use the check-in tool. So for example, let's say I'm a visitor and I'm going to be in your office the entire day. When they go to the page to log in after they scan their code, they can click on this link here to create an account. And once they've created an account here by entering their first name, last name, email, and password, that account will then also be on the main office status page that you see here. So this has been a demo of the new office status program that we've created during this COVID time. If this is something that you'd be interested in having for your department, just send me an email and I'd be more than happy to help get this set up for you.